Hey everybody, Liz LePage here. And in this short clip video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something that is going to speed up your workflow immensely. It's the ability to copy, paste, and sync settings that you've adjusted on an image with multiple other photos. So I've got this image open right now and it's from a wedding that I did. And it's one of my favorite funny images of the bride jokingly putting her foot out the window like she's gonna run away. And I created this really awesome color preset it's kind of a cooler tone to it, and I think it gives it a funky film look. And I really, really want to use this on a whole bunch of other images. And you'll see at the bottom of my screen, I have my film strip view open, and I've got a lot of other images in that series. So what I want to do is take the settings that I made, the adjustments that I made inside of Develop from this image, and paste them on the other photos. So you'll see this is kind of like the unedited version of the image you just saw and it's very bland. So I need to copy these settings and apply them to other images. So I'm gonna zoom out and take a look at all of my photos here and I wanna show you how easy it is to do this. First, we're going to control click or right click on the image with edits and go up and choose copy settings. Then I'm just going to select whatever photos I wanna paste those settings to. So I'm gonna select a whole bunch here. Control click or right click and choose paste settings. Now what's cool is this dialog pops up and it lets you know that you're copy pasting develop settings, but you'll also see that you'll be able to choose effect settings if those have been applied in other options here, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and click paste and you can see automatically it applies those changes to my images and I'm good to go. Now, obviously there's gonna be some images that these settings don't work very well for. So this series of photos of the bridesmaid here, they don't look very good with this setting and it looks like I might have to spend a lot more time adjusting. So I just wanna reset them to their factory defaults. So we'll select the images, control or right click, and choose reset settings. And there we go. So I can go back to those later if I want to. The other images that I applied of the bridesmaid standing out on the porch, those I like, they just need a little bit of a tweak. So let's jump over to develop and I'll show you how to do that. Now that I've got my image open, on the right hand side, I'm gonna make some quick adjustments. I need to raise my exposure up a little bit. I want to lighten the shadows a bit because those blacks are kind of dark. So maybe we'll even lighten the blacks a little bit. And then I also wanna go down and make some color adjustments. For the other images, I went to the red color channel and I increased the saturation. But for this image, because the person is so prominent, I wanna lower the saturation of the red channel so it's not quite so funky on the skin. So we'll go ahead and drop that down and all of a sudden, this image is starting to look a lot better. Now, what I want to do is sync these new settings with a whole bunch of the other images in this series. So I'm going to open up my film strip here and take a look down at the bottom of my screen. You'll see that I've got all of those images lined up here. So to sync my new settings, I'm going to make sure that I have the photo I made adjustments on selected with this blue box. I'm going to hold the shift key and select those images. Then I will right click or control click on that newly edited image and choose sync settings. Automatically, those images lighten and those reds start to decrease and they've been newly edited. So instead of having to go through and make individual adjustments, I'm going through and mass applying, but still editing my photos and paying attention to what they look like. So all of these new settings are going to save you so much time when you're editing a large amount of photos.